everyone, I'm Katie, an infant toddler Montessori teacher and registered early childhood educator. Today I'm going to share with you a really interesting science experiment using food coloring, water, and white flowers. So what you will need for this experiment are some clear containers, an assortment of colors of uh, food coloring, some water, some white flowers, and a pair of scissors. So the setup is pretty easy. First thing you want to do is fill the containers with water. So you can do this step or if your child has uh, some experience with pouring, you could invite them to do it as well. All right. And then I'm going to put a few drops of food coloring in. The more food coloring, the more effect you'll see on the flower. So put quite a few drops in there. Actually, stir it up. All right, so we've got red. You can choose whatever colors you would like or your child would like. So there's green. coloring for now and we're going to work on the flowers. So what's important here is that you want to cut the flowers on a diagonal. So um, if your child has experience with scissors you can invite them to do this step or you can do this step for them. So you just want to cut it on a diagonal just like that and then put it in the dyed water. see is it takes a little bit of time for uh, this science experiment to take effect. So I uh, put these together two days ago and you can see on this one it's pretty incredible to see all the different veins in the petals of this flower. So that's after two days the outer petals are quite uh, incredible there. But as with science experiments, sometimes they don't work out. So this was really interesting, set up at the exact same time, exact same flower, um, but it didn't have the same impact. You can faintly see, I don't think you're gonna be able to see them on camera, you can faintly see that there's some blue there in the veins, but it's very light and um, it just didn't work as well as the red one. So this is a really interesting experiment for that reason. It might work, it might not. You can talk about maybe some of the reasons why it didn't work out. You can try again using um, different types of food coloring. And while you're waiting, what's a really interesting uh, thing to introduce your child to is the idea of hypothesizing. What do they think? What I thought was most interesting about this experiment is that it introduces the child to the idea of hypothesizing. So while you're waiting for the colors to travel into the flower, you can start to guess what you think is going to happen. Is the, are the colors going to reach the petals? Is the stem going to change color? Et cetera, et cetera. And you never know what will happen. So this was a really interesting experiment to do for the children in the classroom um, because it required some patience. So some children were really into it and would go back and check on the flowers every few minutes where, um, you know, checking on it the next morning when they came into the classroom. So it's really interesting um, because it does take some time. So dyeing white flowers with food coloring. And if you're interested in some more science experiments for young children, check out our blog post, Five Science Experiments for Toddlers. We'll link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, it really helps our channel if you like and subscribe. This helps other parents to find our channel. And if you have a question, feel free to comment your question below and we'll answer it in a future video. Take care. Bye.